All right, what's up, guys? I'm Jonathan Williams. I'm Oscar Brito. What's up, Taco Troy fam? We out here at Dodger Fan Fest 2023. We're getting ready for that season. We got you covered, baby. Yeah, let's check out the action. I don't know if it worries me. I think that, you know, how are we going to get the most out of our ball club? Um, you can almost argue that competition. Just like any other year, just get acclimated with everybody. I'm going to feel the most right this year. Okay. Oh, what up, Taco Troy? We're out here at Dodger Fan Fest. I'm here with a Dodger fan, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> what fan are you again? Okay, just listen. Hey. I'm only wearing the jersey because. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. We, we accept every fan here. Um, can you talk to me, specifically you? Can you talk to me when you first became a Dodger fan? Yeah. So. Like started understanding the concept of baseball. That's when I was like, all right, I'm all in. Like this is it. And then obviously watching them win the World Series during 2020, that was just like, come on. Like we were all going through so much. And after losing Kobe, the Lakers won it, and the the Dodgers won it right after. It was just solidified after that. So yeah. Can you, can you respond to those people that talk about, oh, it was a fake ring. They won it in like. The year of the pandemic. Is that you? Yeah, Mickey yeah, Mouse ring. Get that, get that, get that. Get that. She says that. Yeah. About the Mickey Mouse ring. So, she's wrong. I've had this conversation with my best friend countless of times, and I tell her, you know what, like, we were all going through so much in the world, and sports could have stopped at any time. They could have been like, you know what, we're not going to keep baseball, we're not going to keep on going, doing basketball, any of that other stuff. But this, like, they decided to be like, all right, we're going to keep on going. And oh, then, yes, you are, know, yes, yeah, okay. every team had the same opportunity, whether players opted out, players decided to stay in, and the Dodgers just went in. Like, I mean, honestly, we were all going through so much at that time, being the lockdown, again, losing Kobe, the Lakers winning it, and the Dodgers winning it back to back. It was just something for LA, like something for LA to celebrate. And I mean, I think, I don't think of it as a Mickey Mouse ring, honestly. I think it was one fair and square. Everybody had the same opportunity. It is what it is. They can say whatever they want. <laughs> well, let's show some love to the Angels. Let's talk about you. When did you first become a fan of the Angels, or just baseball in general? Um, I think I grew up into it because I have. I'm the youngest of three, and then I have two older brothers. So uh, my older brothers um, were in Little League, so I would always go to their baseball games, and then my dad was. Angels fan, so I would always, or I grew up just always going to Angels games. So I don't know, it just stuck with me. I live in Anaheim, so it's just part of my roots. Here we go. What has been the most tense Dodgers Angels moment between both of you? Um, I think we haven't actually gone to a game like a freeway series, but I've gone because you guys like, might kill each other, right? Most likely. <laughs> but, um, She decided to have an Angel Dodger game there at her house, and it just didn't end, end well for her because <laughs> Dodgers blew them out. Oh yeah, she was. Uh, I wasn't able to go, but from what I heard, yeah. um, she was the only Angels fan. Her and her brother were the only Angels fans. Everybody else was Dodgers fans, and Dodgers ended up winning. Yeah. Really, so. <laughs> but, yeah. How does how does baseball define your relationship? Um, honestly, I think we've gotten closer, like, every now and then, like, we'll text each other stuff that's going on, like, baseball related, it doesn't necessarily have to be Dodger Angel related, but every now and then we'll have a little smack talk yeah. <laughs> whenever the Dodgers are losing or the Angels are losing, but, um, for the, for 
for the most part, it's gotten us closer, I would say. Last season, I came to a Dodgers game with her, and then she came to an Angels game with me, so it's like... Yeah, yeah. I brought her to a Dodger-Giants game out here, oh. and then I went to an Angels-Yankees yeah. game out there. Yeah, yeah, so it's gotten us a little closer, yeah. than I would say, than a most part. Yeah. Works the same way where they leave stuff out. The F word in there, you know. Like, <laughs> but I think we're gonna go too deep for good to my bad bunny this year. Oh, it really fits me, you know. So. <laughs> All right, talking Troy. We're out here with Caesar and Renee, big Dodger fans. Can you guys tell me how long you guys have been fans? How long? Baby boys, baby boys, baby boys, baby boys. Runs in the family. Runs in the family. Who is your first favorite player? First favorite player. Fernando. Fernando. Fernando, absolutely. Fernando. I'm going to have to go with Rafael for call. Okay. It's about time. It's about time he's got it together and retired his number, man. I mean, I came here with my dad a couple of games to see Fernando when I was a little baby boy. So, you know, it uh, feels good that they said it today that he's going to retire his number. Never watched some live, bro. I've seen highlights of him anything, but no, good for him. Congratulations. Good for the community, bro, for the LA fan base, you know what I'm saying? As a Hispanic, you know, it meant a lot for the organization, so, hey, congratulations for him, man. Good for him. It means a lot to the organization. Well, honest opinion, man, me is... I let Vargas, Altman, and let's, let's, let's get two Rookie of the Year. Let's bring them out. Sure. I think these two cats will bring them out, set them up in the front. I think... They let, they let, they're letting uh, Gavin Lux have an opportunity at shortstop. Hey, let them develop. Let them see what's up with this season. That's what I think. Mookie, Freeman, I mean, they got their back. They're going to do their thing. And Muncy. But mostly, is I think uh, Vargas, Oatman, and let me say Thompson. If they keep Thompson in center field, I think he's going to have a big season. And we're going to take it from there, man. I'm excited for Vargas, bro. Great talent. Great talent. I'm excited that he's going to get the opportunity to go out there, third base and shine, you know what I'm saying? Finally show what he can do when he's capable. So, I'm excited for him. Mainly, mainly Vargas, bro, for sure. Mookie Betts, Freeman, Trey Thompson, like Monica said, Trey Thompson. I know they're going to go out every day and do the thing, so. But I'm mostly Vargas, bro, I'm excited for him. And let, let me say, say Will Smith. Will Smith oh, is going to keep having a bigger oh, and bigger yeah, and bigger year. I think this, well, I think Will Smith is going to be, yeah. woo, he's going to blow up, man. He's going to blow up. Well, you heard it here talking Troy, Caesar and Renee, two diehard fans. Yes, uh, let's get that ring. Let's get yes, that sir. ring. That's no, all we're going to say. Let's do it. 2023, baby. Let's get it. Thank That's you so right. much. Appreciate it.